Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Fortune, and we're back with some more Penumbra Overture. Last, we left off with um, getting into the thing, with the uh, blocked off things, and we have the dynamite and the fuse now, we can now blow up the rocky thing. But first, you have to go to the left side of the dog, which you haven't gone yet. We went forwards and right, we haven't gone left yet. So we're gonna go left, and see what we can find on that side, if anything at all, in fact. Or try to sneak through the middle. As fish inefficient as that may end up being. I think he saw me, so we're going this way. <laughs> I don't think he's ever gone that close to me before in that direction, so let's go this way. Okay, we're good. Shit, I still have to go that way though. Fuck. Okay, please go pooch. Please go that way. Go that way. Go that way. That way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, that's fine. I can go this way. I don't really care that much. I can go this way. I'm fine. Doesn't see me though. That's good. Is there something I'm supposed to pick up there? I think I saw a node or some shit. Stay here, right here until he moves away. Uh, tits. <laughs> did you move back? Seems like you did. You can never be sure, though. We'll be right here. Slag. Okay, moving on. Oh, there's an actual barrel of TNT. Shiny throat. Could have been used for mining operations, but I don't see the f don't see a fuse. Wait, I'm supposed to use this instead of the dynamite. This old cement makes it seem better days. Yes, it has. Especially considering it's so fucking old and decrepit at this point. So we're supposed to bring this with us, huh? That's gonna fucking suck. Well, it needs to hide, I guess. So that's good. As long as he fucking turns around again. That'll be help uh, very helpful. Hey sir! Could you turn the fuck around and not walk towards me even more and I say that? <laughs> I asked you a question. You did the exact opposite of what I asked. God damn it, dog. Doggo, you are a sucky doggo. Whoa. Right now that stresses me the fuck out. That was a weird movement. Should you please move even further away? Because I'm still spooked by your presence. Come on. Okay, go, 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 I love being able to pick stuff up and hide behind it. That's a good concept. He's moving that way now. Okay, go, 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 book it. Book it the fuck out of here. I can't see past the barrel. It doesn't help me. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm just gonna blow this up with this TNT. Yeah, I think about it, the TNT looked, I mean, the dynamite looked like it had a fuse, so. There we go. I just had to lay down the fuse uh, by clicking the actual inventory button. I just have to light it with a, uh, with a lighter, which I do have. So that's cool. Nope. What? I'm not. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Christ, what am I thinking? Thinking? What are you. I'm not fucking supposed to light it then. <laughs> what? I'm supposed to use this? 
Wait, is it empty? Is the Oh, it was empty. <laughs> that makes sense now. It's gonna blow up. That was a bit close. I expected it to not be uh, that efficient. <laughs> I fucked myself up big, big time. When I look back, I can't think of what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive, or something weird as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now, I know I could have been better off starving, or being mauled to death, than kick-starting the chain of events that led me to end up here. Writing to you, I just hope, once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. So I'm fucked up. Wait, I have like... Oh, that's battery, not health. Uh, we have beef jerky for days, so... How do I... How do I... Eat it? How do I eat the beef jerky? Oh, I'm supposed to throw it for the dogs! Oh! Didn't... I probably shouldn't have done that, though. For sure. Well, that's dumb. So where am I now? Where am I? So you slowly heal. It's a good hiding spot to be in. Nobody's gonna be able to get me in here. I can see everything. Anyway, moving on. No, it's left, right, left side. God damn it! Yeah, I'm, I'm turning yellow, as opposed to red now. Still nothing in here. Are they hiding spots then? I guess they are. I can push this. Interesting. I'm guessing for to hide myself. It's not a bad idea to do it. So. Noises down here are so alien compared to the way some travels on the surface. The rock fall almost sounded like something I don't know. <laughs> the text went away too fast and I was too spooked. Oh, yeah. Now it stopped doing the thing. So you don't actually need to, like, heal yourself with painkillers. You can just let it heal by itself. Also, I just realized I had painkillers and I tried to eat big jerky instead. I am a dumb, okay? I'm just a dumb. You should all know this by now. Should be pretty obvious. That doesn't work. Or neither does that, so I don't know. Is this already open? Oh, it is already open. <laughs> Derp. Uh, a, a, a der. A der. Be the letter T. What in the world? At least it's foreign to me. You can go down that ladder, I guess. Ooh, okay. Let's go down to see what the fuck is down here. Good to uh, be able to like look around in pretty much every single angle when you're on a ladder. I don't know how that's helpful. So that's not nice. Yeah, there's nothing down there. You're just you're just turning insane. Literally turning insane. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. It's kind of protective screen, maybe. I wonder where to protect them from. Probably some fucked up shit. <laughs> My experimentation every single 17. I've drawn it down the notes just in the case, okay? Main generator, one run, now the starter motor being powered. Okay, it's, it's not powered. This thing's huge. It must be about 3.5 megawatts. It's pretty old. Certainly enough to light a few bulbs, though. <laughs> yeah, because megawatts is definitely just enough for a couple of that. 
I can move this. It's stuck, so. <laughs> Alright. So this is a uh, puzzle here, and I can also save. Ooh! Steelberg Generator Type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol driven electrical backup system. Below are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. I have to sit up for a second. Holy fuck my ass. Anyway, don't do that though. And with personal variant hairs, the wind up starter motor has been replaced with a battery driven unit. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident inducing insurance nightmare. So enjoy the new increased grease control system. Electrician installation can be expensive to install and maintain, so the economical 7G basic model arises out, and much, much more. Quick start guide. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Connecting of confirmed secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Pull main operation lever. Check energy output. Your unit should now be fully functional. I can't really judge that by the symbols, dude. Well, this is probably like some sort of a flow. This is horizontal and this is a uh, vertical. Don't know what that means. This is something. This is a T. So, not this one. N. There we go. There we go. No, come on. Uh, connecting from the secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Secondary flow. The fuck does that mean? Turn on cooling system. Is that the water thing? There's excess steam. Is steam the one that goes up and then, like, secondary flow the, the, uh, the horizontal one? Might be. Doing grease flow. Just turn main valve and confirm primary flow. This, this is this is definitely the main valve. Um, so what if I? Is that enough? Okay. Okay, is that the right thing to do? Uh, it's a better symbol inside, but it's welded tight shut. If that's kind of a machine for opening these, it's not here anymore. Well then, that doesn't help me. Uh, I'm supposed to like put it in the fucking pit. I'm supposed to get in there, though, is a question. Is it in the way? I'm supposed to get it in there. Everything is in the way. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to lift it? Because I'm sure I can't fucking do that. I can't, so uh, what am I doing here? Am I supposed to remove one of them? <laughs> we are. Genius. Okay, let's see what the fuck we can get out of this. <laughs> totally a genius, my dude. So what is in this box? A battery, of course. You know, like it said. It was a battery box. <laughs> now we can probably do something. Now where does the battery go? In here? Now where are you supposed to put the battery? Here maybe? No. 
Where does the battery go, my friends? Where does it go? Somewhere on the machine? Somewhere on the control panels and shit? In here? In this thing? Oh, I'm dumb. It's right there. It's right there. Should be set. Okay. Alright. Just generator's age. Is it one that sparks at all? It's probably just their spins a power surge. I've drawn it on a note just in case. I was going with the starter motor. I need to get that fixed. Well, that doesn't fucking help. Hmm. Oh. There's a blown fuse. There's nothing here to work. We have to get a fuse. Okay. We know now. We know what to do now. Apparently I just had to turn all of them off. Uh, all of them on. I don't know what, why I bothered to put that many instructions for something that seems to be entirely random. It doesn't explode. Although if it did, I would have been fucking dead. <laughs> Now, I'm guessing you have to put beef jerky somewhere. This fucking guy, too. Actually, let me go back and pick up the one I put behind on accident. Because, you know, I can't really waste this stuff. Where did I drop it? Exactly. Is it not in here? Did I put it in the other area before I left? It came from up there. Yeah, I can't see the beef jerky. I guess it's just gone now. Maybe the dog ate it before while well, I was not here. <laughs> that was that would be dumb, but you know, I guess it could be entirely possible. All right, back into sneak mode. You can also just totally attack them with this. I see as he fucking frightens the shit out of me. Yeah, how did he come all the way down here? Come, rather. You know what? You know what? Fuck this guy. I'm gonna get behind him and fuck his ass with this uh, pickaxe. So with this ice pick. Where is he? Probably preventing the accidents to mine proper at a working hours. Something like that won't open without power. Is that behind this? I certainly can't fucking see him. He is. Okay. Oh my god. Are you really doing this? I don't want to. I don't want it at all. <laughs> Assassin this guy. I don't, know, I don't know if I can use those. I can go in there. I can go over here and uh, explore. I can go up here as well. Wait, what's the point of this? Like, actually, what's the point of this? Can I? I can't. I can't like move this. So I don't get it. Okay, whatever. He's trapped there, so it doesn't matter if I move, uh, if I crouch or not. I'm just gonna run around a bit. Wait, we're back here. It goes right here. That is the one where I passed it. Wow, I suck. Uh, so how am I supposed to open this exactly? Doesn't even notice me when I'm walking around. It's this way. What? I am confused. It's not the same place. I thought it was. It's not, though. It's definitely not the same place. Okay. Doesn't very much so look like it. This door is what we're going for. That noise for some reason. I really don't like it. I've got to get a grip. 
at a radio. Twelfth of January, nineteen seventy-two. Boys, I had come a, I'd come have a word for you myself, but I've got more important things to do. I'm pissed about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. Now I know there's a certain amount of uh, com camaraderie within, between you lot, playing pranks, and pranks and jokes on each other. We're close with the territory, and that's fine, as long as they don't add me to your list. God knows, you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know well, full well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with his height. So anyone who thought it would be a good idea to sabotage the generator, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom, would quite clearly need his head exa examined. You get me? Another news, Jones. I want that inventory done yesterday. And the rest of you is not all fun and games. You hear? On a serious note, another radio has gone missing. And you'd better hope to God that means one of you has lost it, because stealing ain't a pretty, 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 pretty word in my book. It's the third one this month, which means the amnesty on coming clean is fast but coming to a close. Then there will be repercussions, got it? What's strange is, you're all supposed to be working on, plan uh, on pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on the radio without the others spotting it. When I find out who's responsible, I'm gonna find out how they get away with it so long, and I'm gonna fling him out into the snow and leave him there. Now this is appearing into the night just like all those radios. Howard lead, lead mine Foreman. Alright. Uh, this thing's to shut the fuck up. It's trying to drive me fucking crazy. That's like a thing. Spare radio parts don't look spare at all. They almost look like they've been put in here recently. Like a lot of things. Okay, he meant that chop shelf then. He's gonna break then. Well, this is not me. I break these. Probably not their cardboard after all. So that one makes sense. Anyway, so we got that. I guess we got a. Uh, Radio, I don't know what I would use that for. So let's move on. This gate door we have not opened yet. Still not opened, okay. I'm guessing this opens that, to be honest. Makes sense to my mind, at least. Close that ever so slightly, just in case. Broom. Emergency procedures. In the way of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure, detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services will already be on their way, and so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues and themselves, or contact the emergency services. This code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event that you are trapped in the mine with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact the emergency crews. In this scenario, you should number 1. Ensure the stability of surrounding the environment by gently tapping and feeling the rock. Number two, once you feel certain there is no risk of a rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand, and attempt to send a stress signal using this code sheet. Should number three, such, such, should such a device be invadable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue crews will hear you, and arrive promptly to dig you out. Morse reference. Shit. <laughs> so H is four dots. E is one dot. L is L is one dot, uh, one short, one long, and two short. And P is one short, two long, and one short. Okay. I'm supposed to listen to the radio, or I'm supposed to make my own thing. I'm supposed to signal SOS. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would make sense. No, note. All right. Those 
free, long, and too short. Oh, it's trying to give me a code. I didn't look at the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, restart. So it's, um, God, it's five free. Wait, it's it's five, seven, three, eight. Okay, it's five, seven, three, eight. What do I need it for? I have no idea. Because the thing didn't want to work. So I'm guessing that's for after I fix the motor. But how do I fix the motor? Is there anything else in here? Oh, I'm dumb. Box is empty. Oh shit. Well, we're. Oh! It's right up here. It's kinda hard to grab it. It's kinda hard to grab it. Uh, let's get a box or two. Oh, come on. Now so close, too. Also, I just saw that batteries. I don't use a flashlight. Like, ever, so. <laughs> Never even remember that I had it. Okay, now we can turn it all on. Hey! More beef jerky. So what I'll do is actually place a beef jerky before I even open the gate. I'll place it... Where would I place it? I'll place it right, right here. So let's do that right now. She might disappear. Ah, oh, fuck it. We're just not gonna do it yet. We're gonna do it when you open, right before you open the gate, because it might just de despawn if you don't do it otherwise. I mean, don't do it like that. So, let's put this p fuse in. I forgot the code. So we're gonna have to look it up again. It's yeah, it's eight three. I don't remember the order. I don't remember much at all. Honest. Okay, now we actually have to do the thing. Oh, they reset. That doesn't help me. Okay, there you go. Okay, good, okay, good. I didn't do it right this time as well. Huh. I have a feeling this is the first one. Hold up a second. I, I really hope this isn't fucking random. I'll do this one first this time. Then I'll do this one. This one. This one. Then you... Nope. I don't know. It seems like such a random thing. Cause it, doesn't know, it doesn't show me which symbols do what. It's that you just have to guess what, what, this, uh, what the symbols are, which is kind of dumb. At least if you ask me. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. On cooling system to avoid overheating, release excess steam, rental pressure is within safe limits, doing grease flow, ensuring leakage is normal, turn main valve and confirm primary flow, main operation lever. I don't understand, dude. So, I don't know what the fuck the secondary flow symbol is. 
Like, it's not very obvious. It's very not in obvious. Is this primary flow? Like. And the other one is secondary. They're on cooling system for wind overheating. I'm guessing that. No, actually, that would be. That's my grease, grease flow. What is this? And then, and then, uh, release excess steam. I'm guessing steam is the one that goes upwards. That's typically how that works. Beginning grease flow, turn men valve, okay. I'm guessing this is grease flow again. If not, I'll just look up a walkthrough because I really don't understand what I'm how I'm supposed to figure this out. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that still doesn't move, so I don't know why I can interact with it. Does this one move? No. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do this. Is there something behind here? No. I took full damage from that small little drop. Oh my god, dude. This game. So maybe this is the secondary. Connect and confirm. Do I need to connect something? <coughs> well, it doesn't matter because uh, our time is up. And I'm gonna be saving. <laughs> Wait, the batteries just spawned. What the fuck? Is that just me? Those were not there before. It feels as if I'm leaving my body for just a moment. I'm not just hovering around. It's like I'm going to some place. Where are these things? Try it again after picking up the batteries. God damn it, dude. This is confusing as shit. This is like a very annoying puzzle. I don't know why they added this. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and, uh, you know, this is this, this, the. Please are subscribing if you want to support me, because that's very much appreciated. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.